Good afternoon, guys. We are live and local here at Mr. Paisley's at Caring Bar. And as you can see, we're going to be talking a little bit about food and a bit of drink and all that sort of stuff. But uh, we're going to be navigating through the festive season with some uh, hot tips and ideas. Guys, my name is Sam Barnett. I'm the High Performance Manager at Vision Personal Training. And I'm here, blessed to be next to the great man, Shane Mercer. Thanks for having us, guys. Good to see you today. Thanks for joining us. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a bit of a casual talk. Like it's gonna be hard for me not to sort of start reaching over and start eating here, as you can probably see. How good does the food look? How good does it look? And Very lucky. To be honest, that's probably the mantra that uh, people should have this time of the year, is how good is food? And it, is, it is seen as a tough time of year. We're out uh, at, at social events. Um, we, we don't want you guys to feel guilty about eating well this time of year. As you can see, there is a lot of good food around us. We're gonna be eating out a lot. Um, so we're just going to give you a couple of simple examples and, and tips to, to help navigate the festive season. Um, and today we're going to work through Mr. Paisley's awesome menu. We've got a few few uh, sort of meal options to go through. We'll just provide you with a couple of little useful tips. And reality check, this time of the year does start to encroach upon this sort of realm. So we'll uh, give you some ideas about alcohol as well. We will get there. We will get there eventually. The first. So uh, Shano, what, what would you say would be some of the biggest challenges that people face this time of the year? Uh, I think turning up to an event not knowing what sort of food you're going to be served. Um, you know, that, that's something that will create a little bit of anxiety this time of year. Um, you know, there are, there are a couple of ways around that. Uh, if you can, try and get a, a look at the menu before you're going you're gonna to go and eat out. Um, what about you, mate? What are, what are some other issues that you've heard of well, people get worried about? Look, I think definitely that, that pre-planning ahead is, is an absolute no-brainer. It, it's funny, this time of the year, and I've been talking about this with a few people of late, is that it's a really quite a, a structured time of the year because you do have events coming up. You know they're coming up. So you can actually start being a little bit prepared for it rather than throwing the arms up going, oh, there's nothing I can do. It's like, well... You know where you're going, uh, or the people that you're going to be around, and you can start planning accordingly. And even that comes down to the, the physical sort of activity that you might be doing either pre or post, just to sort of offset some of the uh, the increase in, in your in your food options. But definitely, as Shane mentioned there, um, having a look at a menu, like if you are going to a venue, then you can get online so easily these days. Check out what's there, make a choice before you go. If you're going to a cocktail party, a, a simple thing is to eat before you go. Check this out here. Like you guys could make this sort of food in your own home. How good does it look? And, and you could dead set have that before you go, and, and then you're not going to be tempted to eating some of that fried, unknown processed yeah. food when you do get there. So, I mean, those are some pretty simple tips that I think you can. Uh, yeah, switch and to. We, we want we want to avoid the whole guilt thing. Because as we said before, it is the festive season. It's time to celebrate. Um, everybody's had a big year. We all work hard. This is the time of year that we can celebrate. Um, you know, an another good thing to do just to remove that that guilt is to maybe get a little bit of exercise in before you go, so that um, you know you burn off a few extra calories. Um, maybe even the day after, if you get into some of that stuff. Absolutely. But the the main thing is you got to you got to be able to go out and enjoy yourself. So. Um, we, we've ordered a few items here, um, so we're going to we're work gonna, through We're going to dive, dive into it a little bit. Yeah, so I guess the big take-home we want from you guys to uh, take from this session today is to know that it shouldn't be seen as, a, as a, a negative time. We want you to really enjoy and embrace the festive period. This is a time where you're catching up with family, you're catching up with your close friends and loved ones, and, and to have those limitations over your head they may be a little bit unnecessary because if you can organize yourself and plan yourself accordingly then i think you can navigate yourself pretty well through this time and look it's all right to slip up every now and then okay but if you're aware of it um and, and you've planned accordingly then you know what embrace it and, and enjoy enjoy yourself and know how you can make things a little bit better or a little bit smarter moving forward and to be honest, most of us are educated enough to know what's good and what's bad. All right, Shano, so, I want to have a look at some of this stuff. All right, what are you going to dive into? I've, what have you right, ordered? I've, I've ordered the, uh, the grass-fed beef burger, and I've uh, this awesome place down at Mr. Paisley's, which is in Caringbar, they have a, a bunless option. So I've gone the bunless burger. It looks pretty awesome. Uh, as you can see, it comes with the sauce on the side, which sauce is always side. another good choice. There you go. 
sauce on the side. Good option. Um, it's uh, just a, a bit of a safer option. Uh, it's going to be lower in carbs. It just allows you to have a little bit more room for a bit of alcohol later on, maybe. Ooh, ooh. Which yeah, we'll just, get, we will get to. Just quickly, and I promise not to jump in too much on you, but uh, I, I like the idea that if you if you are going to a venue, that don't be afraid to ask for for specific options um, from the the chef or the, the waiter waitress. Like for example, you know you might look at that and go, hey, I don't want cheese on my, even though it's bunless, I don't want cheese on it as well. And so those are options that you could certainly make make uh, make choice of. And, and one, other, one other advantage of being that, that person who orders off the menu is that you guarantee that it's always going to be really fresh. So just don't be afraid to ask. I know. Like seriously, how much are you guys salivating at this food right now? It looks good. It's hard just looking at it, isn't it? All right. Well, hey, look, I um, I chose this vegan option here, and uh, by no means am I vegan, but I, I don't mind a bit of that good food. Like, how could you not opt in for some of this good stuff here? You've got obviously the brown rice. You've got a bit of hummus there on the side. You've got your your lentil patty, which just looks amazing. You've got a pomegranate salad. Lots and lots of antioxidants in there. And this stuff here, this yellow stuff, it, it's called kimchi. And uh, every now and then you can find this sort of like it, it's a, a natural bacteria, like it's a, a natural bacteria sort yeah, of so thing. So uh, the idea is it's going to help with uh, improved gut health. From yeah. what, I, what you were telling me before, anyway. So uh, it just uh, we all want healthy guts, don't we? I was actually having a bit of a, a gaze through uh, what are the world's healthiest foods, and kimchi rakes there. So uh, definitely a, a good option. Fact. Throw that in. And over here... Were you prepared? I was prepared. All right. Over here we've got the brekkie bowl. Uh, so you'll see there's some good carbs and protein here. We've got, uh, we've got a bit of brown rice with quinoa. We've got some sweet potato, which is fantastic. Um, what else? We've got some sprouts. We've got some poached eggs. Um, so you're getting a, a good combination of some superfoods, some protein and good carbs there. So uh, I don't know that you'll be going to too many functions where you're going to be served something like that. But um, look, I think if you, yeah, again, making smart choices, but this is certainly stuff that you can make at home, which, are, which I think is amazing. Um, and, and even like if you think of Christmas Day, you're going to be throwing a lot of big meal time options. And, and so maybe being a bit selective as to the meal that you particularly do, I guess, dive into head first or, or spread the food a little bit. Yeah. I know. Uh, um, you know, having some kind of seafood in the lunchy sort of time or, you know, it could be a good option before you go into your, your usuals of ham and turkey uh, and all that kind of and stuff. And we know that the festive period, you, you don't necessarily always have those set meal times. You're pretty much grazing. So just, um, you know, have your water handy so you're chucking in water just to, to stop the eating and, um, you know, just try and minimise the calories where you can. But enjoy yourself don't deprive yourself and, and don't feel guilty it's Christmas like we were saying before absolutely so what are these Shano all right so I've uh, I went with the uh, the purple haze option so this has got strawberries blueberries raspberries banana honey and oats so this thing is actually a meal in itself so if you were to go out and order something like that you don't necessarily need to order anything else it is a meal I know some people get uh, caught up in ordering juices and they think, you know, it's a juice, it's really healthy. But look at the size of this, it's a decent serving. So there are a fair few carbs and calories in there. You don't need to go and order your scrambled eggs or your burger or whatever else with it. It is a meal in itself, yeah. especially if you know you're going to be going out later on that night to a, a Christmas function. Um, but berries are typically a little bit lower in carbs, so it is a good option. But with your, uh, with your oats in there, you're going to get a little bit of protein as well. So that's that's a good brekkie option, a good even lunch option. Yeah, I absolutely. Good antioxidants in it. What are you drinking, mate? It's mate, pretty this, funky this is thing. actually called the spicy kiss, uh, which Ooh. is a common... Ooh. Ooh. It's a bit of a common... Wow. It could be good for this time of the year. There's plenty of spicy uh, kisses this time of year. <laughs> Steady. So All right. We're both married, by the way, yeah. happily. How are you, Lex? Anyway... Um, <laughs> Spicy kiss, carrot, apple, turmeric, and, and ginger in it. Sorry, oh, dad, jokes. dad jokes. Yeah. Look, more than ever these days when you do go out and eat, you're going to find uh, that a lot of options for these kind of juices where they're throwing in some good little additives and stuff like that. Turmeric, for example, is, uh, is a really good anti-inflammatory. Um, you know, so if you're eating 
heavy protein, um, obviously alcohol, Drinking. your body's going to be in all sorts of uh, heavily inflamed states. So maybe offsetting a little bit with, uh, with that kind of um, supplementation yeah. could be really good. And, and it's really easy to order as well, you know, as it is an option. But be mindful because that is a significant drink. Okay, there's a, I, I would that, dare yeah. say that uh, there's probably close to 500 mils in that. Okay, and so if you think about how many apples have been squeezed into it, um, you've got to understand that if you are going to have something that size, that there is going to be a fairly significant, um, I guess, macro count associated with it. So, you know, you could split it. Mate, grab two straws. Share it with someone. Two yeah. straws. Yeah. Good to go. Extremely romantic. And uh, again, it is that time of the year. Yeah. Festive time of the year. Uh, ma macros is something that you've just brought up, yep. which is, uh, I know a lot of people are going to be worried that they're, first of all, how are you going to record your, your food when you go out? Because you don't know what you're going to be having. Guess what? If there's a day that you don't record your food, it's not going to kill you. It's all right. It's Christmas. Um, and don't, you know, macros, again, just steer clear of the high-calorie stuff, the high-carb stuff. Uh, we know that a big serving like this, whatever it is, it's going to be high in calories. So, But one day, blown, blown macros, is it, is it going to be the end of you? No. Probably not. not. Not at all. Probably not. You know, but as we've said, and we've said it a few times today, being smart, being organised, um, you know, opting out of the, the fried and the fatty foods and, and being able to choose a selection of whole fresh foods is going to be, uh, you know, a far better option. You know, right here we've got vegan, we've got vegetarian because we've got eggs and, and a bit of cheese and uh, a gluten-free gluten -free. option over here. And the cow was vegan, so, so you, could, you could potentially you could claim option that's as well. a vegan option as well. That was my joke. Thanks, Mr. Was that my dad that? joke? That was a dad yeah, joke. We're killing gold, the dad gold, jokes today. <laughs> All right, we're, we're speaking of dad jokes, let's move to the booze. All right, so we know that this time of year, everybody is going to sort of uh, drink up a little bit more. Uh, most people are educated to a certain degree around, around what's good and what's bad for food. Um, but what we do find is that most people generally don't have much of a clue around alcohol. So uh, we, we just want to clear up a few misconceptions out there and maybe give you a couple of little tips. Um, let's look at beer, because we're both men, we're dads, we like to drink beer. Um, you want to be trying to go for the best options this time of year. So what are you better off drinking, the low carb beer or the light beer, Sam? Look, uh, I think uh, the light beer is going to be the smarter option. Why is that, Shano? Well, what most people don't realise is that alcohol is quite energy dense. And for starters, there isn't actually that many carbohydrates in a beer to start with. So definitely going for the low carb option uh, is definitely going to be a better choice. Um, how about when we're drinking spirits? Because not everybody likes to drink beer. What, what are some uh, guidelines around spirits, Sam? Well, I, I think definitely using a mixer, which has got a, a low caloric intake. Potentially something, oh, have a Water or sugar-free, yeah. A, uh, a vodka, lime and soda could be a, yeah. a, a smarter option. Very good, um, or a scotch on the rocks, ooh, maybe. Nice. Nice. Towards the end of the night anyway, those ones. <laughs> <laughs> I don't usually make it that far. Yeah. There you go. What, what about wine? wine? See, we've got a very nice uh, Hunter Semi on here. Um, well, what, what are some guidelines around wine, Sam? Look, I think first, first and foremost, shop around a little bit. I know there's definitely options out there which are going to be lower in alcohol content um, that you can get, both in the, in the wine and also the bubbly. And Moscato is a good option. You um, can get low alcohol Moscatos. Being mindful of the size of the glass. Okay, uh, I don't know if you're aware that when you order wine from the bar, you can either choose 150 or 250 mil glasses, and uh, sometimes people uh, opt for the bigger one and but keep the pace up. And before you know it, yeah, your two your 250 mil glass is near enough on three standard drinks. Well, so that's uh, that's a third of a bottle basically in each glass. So just uh, so, be a little bit mindful of that. And most most wine, uh, actually, this is lower in alcohol. This is a good option. There you go. Well done. Well played. We didn't even mean that. Um, but yeah, a, a bottle of wine is going to have about eight to nine standard drinks. So if you're drinking a bottle of wine, definitely don't drive. And you're probably going to need to do a bit of uh, cardio the yeah, following day. For sure. I think with alcohol, the, the big thing that we've got to understand, it is an energy source. Your body sees it as a poison. 
Uh, so it's going to start trying to remove it from your from your system straight away. So often it, it, the the issues can arise if particularly if you're drinking a, a large a large amount of alcohol and then combining that with maybe not so smart food choices. You're really throwing a lot of energy dense uh, fuel into your body, and because your body is actually trying to get rid of this stuff then it's not actually burning any of the, the food that you're All consuming. All this stuff that well, you've this, already these, consumed. These would be good options if you were drinking. But, you know, definitely the, you know, the fried or the heavy bread options or the pastas and things like that are going to be energy dense. And so if you're consuming that with a heavy alcohol loading, you're throwing a, a hell of a lot of energy down in the one sitting. So being mindful of that is really important. Uh, uh, it is easy to get excited this time of year, so don't be afraid to throw a water wedge between each drink. Just just get a glass of water in, it's gonna help with the headache the next day as well. Um, especially when you get to our age, you gotta worry about those headaches. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Mate, water is cool, okay? Every now good. and then, uh, breaking it up. And, and being mindful as well that, because as I mentioned at the start of this, that I'm sure you've got an itinerary of events that you've got coming up. So you could possibly select, you know what, I'm gonna to drive to that one or I'm going to really embrace a, another one. And so that you can actually be a bit selective and that might prevent you uh, over consuming. Especially if you know who's gonna be at these events because we've all got those friends who are just a little bit more of a bad influence. Turn, twist, you know, the ones that twist, twist your arm. So maybe drive to those events. Yeah. Um, could be a good option. Yeah. Guys, a couple of questions coming Yo. in from yeah, the right. audience. Um, one from Mike. So you were pointing out the source before. Why do, we, why do we need to be wary of sources? Well, sources can hide stuff. Uh, they can hide, uh, they, might, they might be really high in carbs, they might be really high in fat, but a lot of sources are really high in sodium. So um, the problems with excess sodium are it can lead to fluid retention, which doesn't look good on the scales, as we know. What else can it lead to, Sam? Look. Excess sodium. Increase stress levels, uh, you know, because your body's on a, a creating a negative kind of uh, what do you call it, an acidic environment. Okay, so look, in short, sugar and salt, layman's terms, full of it. Yeah. So if you can put it to the side, you're going yeah. to be able to be selective as to how much you pour onto your meal, and and you'll find that, you know, even you, I'm sure you guys have sat through some of the Master Chef and. If I'm allowed to say these sorts of things, but you're talking about they all talk about the sauce, the sauce, the sauce, and you go out and you eat, they're going to bomb it with it, okay? Yeah. And so we, if you can put it to the side, yeah. Uh, generally, if we if we if we eat properly, if we eat well, we don't really need to add salt or sugar to anything. But most of your sauces are going to have one or the other or both of them added. Yeah. So just yeah, that's why you best to opt for the sauce on the side. And most people should be accommodating. Um, question from Marnie, how would Accelerator Day fit in the mix of our festive activities? Great question, yeah, Marnie. Yeah, very good, Marnie. Great question. Look. Is this the Marnie Benny? Oh. Congratulations on New York, Marnie, you're a beast. Boom. Well done. What, what a, a legend. legend. What a legend. <laughs> hey, uh, Marnie, I think, again, being organised, you know, with your week, you can, you can plan accordingly. Um, for those of you that may not be fully aware, an accelerator day is when you're going to reduce the amount of carbohydrates that you're consuming through the course of the day, um, allowing your body to potentially tap into some of those stored energy energy source. Probably, probably um, a really good option this time of year, isn't it? it an accelerator it, day. It is a good option, but be mindful that obviously timing it around alcohol could be a little bit bad in yeah. that you know, you're reducing your carbohydrate consumption, so you're actually reducing your body's ability to be hydrated. Yes. And so yeah. if you're having a really heavy accelerator day, either prior or post a, uh, a busy drinking day, yeah. it may not be so good for yeah. you because uh, yeah, alcohol is a uh, diuretic, okay? Yeah. It will dehydrate you. Even further, which an accelerator day can do as well. So if you, get, if you know you're gonna be drinking, probably not on that day, do an accelerator no, day, no. yeah. Prior, the day prior, maybe post is probably a little bit dangerous as well. It's so, kind of like I look at it and go, yeah. say your weekend is probably going to be a, 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 a busy social time, then accelerated day would go well, maybe on a Thursday or maybe on a Tuesday, yeah. you know, as a, as a bit of an offset. Okay? Yeah, you just yeah, you a, run the risk of dehydration there. Marnie. Good question. Yeah, good very question. good question.
Look, uh, guys, I hope you've uh, got a bit of value out of spending a bit of time with Shane and I today. We've certainly thrown a bit of banter, but it is the festive time. It's a time that we really want you to be enjoying yourselves, having a lot of fun, celebrating it with friends, family and loved ones, uh, and really enjoying and embracing your food options. It, food is kind of that thing where variety is the spice of life, okay? Especially this time match. Yeah. How good does these options look? And and just relax and enjoy yourself and, uh, and have fun have a great break a safe break happy holidays and um, and don't don't be afraid to shoot more uh, questions through but um, I think we're going to wrap it up now so thanks for joining us that is a wrap and, and a Shane wrap. and I are dead set going to smash some of this food here because yeah. it looks really good it does look great okay see so, you gang uh, thank you later Ciao. take care